Howdy folks and welcome back once more to Let's Play Ravenloft Stone Prophet. Today, I guess we're doing the Temple of Set. It seems like the next most obvious place to go. I just I just realized they fixed the, the button scrolling on this. I've been using it this entire time and I never noticed that I didn't have to like snap my mouse off of it. <laughs> ah, video games. All right, I also had it mentioned in comments that I should probably have Chunk using this dagger plus one instead of the short sword. And I think that's probably a better idea than using the short sword just for a, a point for point damage comparison against most of what we're fighting. I uh, just less damage against bigger critters, only a D3 compared to the the short sword doing a an eight sider, but as was mentioned, the big deal is that the dagger is a plus one to hit. Which is, uh, we're not, well, we are pretty damn high level, but it's it's noticeable still. So that's... Excuse you. Excuse you, sir. This is a Wendy's. Good lord. I don't know why I walked here. I'm pretty sure I could have teleported. Maybe not. I don't know. Do I need to dump stuff? No, that's right. We have so much. We have so much carrying capacity. And a second key ring because I keep forgetting to drop keys. Oops. All right. Uh, and someone else actually let me know about the modifiers for encumbrance. And it turns out the modifiers for encumbrance are actually pretty fucking bad, which explains why Trajan Ket is missing so much. So I think. I think it might be time to make the cat horse a front row fighter. Which is going to look something like that, I guess. Do I still have? Do I still have? I do. All right, we have a Kopesh plus two, a battle axe plus three. I could actually give the Kopesh to chunk. And Ket gets nothing now. Well, he can have the periaptive root wound closure. It's a shame we can't really do anything with this two-hander. It's just kind of wasted. But that's okay. All right. I'm going to save. And I want to check. Once I'm done saving. Rakter was at a negative two. Does he benefit from magic vestment? Because if he does, he does. All right, because I was debating on whether or not to give him the Ring of Protection to give him some extra AC, but I think a negative four armor class is pretty sufficiently thick. All right, that's that's Isu Reko Tap right here. We have been warned not only that set followers are assholes, but that she in particular is something of a shithead. Hello, Snacks. Fuego. Well, thing I don't see you over there lurking in my general direction. Oh god, it evaded the fire. And we have the magic mouths. Magic mouths are something you don't really see too much in D&D anymore. These things were like you have entered the temple of Set and the god grows angry. Where are his followers? In this once thriving temple, bow you down before Set. Worship him or you shall bow down before his wrath. Back in the days of yore, magic mouths were like everywhere, and you have entered the temple. okay, same thing. And and like since like third edition D and I, I can't think of any. But what do I know? Come you here to worship before set? Let me see your eyes. Look to me now that I may divine what secrets, jealousy, and evil await. But you are not here for set. No, nor to cherish my Oh, she's upset with us. Oh, just looking around. So why are we here? Curiosity and fate. They seem to lead us everywhere. Where are you? Search your mind. The sound of my name is yet fresh within. Isu. Isu Rekt. I am the teacher of which you have heard. Slowly I 
changed the rituals, slowly the texts. In years to come, they will know me. Know me for who I am. It is so irksome that it keeps cutting off the voices. Very obnoxious. Perhaps we have heard of you, perhaps not. In some lands, however, it is said Osiris is a god of nature and rebirth, while said is evil. Lies, slanders, half-truths. It is Osiris who enslaves us through his blind devotion to the good. Where is the freedom of power if not with set? How might we achieve the... Like, really, game? Really? Is it like... Is this a cycles issue, maybe? I'm gonna I'm gonna set the cycles down to like 50% and see if that changes it. Forgive, forgive us if we are not familiar with the ways of Set. How come you to devote yourself to this god of evil? God of evil? No, Set is the god of secrets. Secrets quicken the heart. Like love, they bring jealous devotion. Long ago, I followed the ways of Osiris, but there came a day... Yes, I remember. There came a day when the secrets of controlling a greater mummy were no longer secrets to me. My heart quickened. In time, it beat beyond all resisting. Senmet, a child of Unctopot, became mine. I don't know if it's better now or if that one just happened to not cork up. Dangerous vocation controlling a greater mummy. What did you hope to accomplish? By set, I desired the common desire that only the uncommon achieve. The power to command. The power to rule. The mummy Senet was but the beginning. For in time, all of Harakir was to be mine. Together we would take from Octopot the foolish. Octopot the weak. We would take what must in the end be ours. Yet Senmet is no more. My Senmet, my great and glorious servant, is no more. If I were to curse with the greatest of curses, a curse to envelop and destroy, I would level it upon all who seek to do Okay, no. They seek to do Senmet harm. So she's lying. Senmet is very much still about, and he'll beat the shit out of us if we're not careful. If Senmet is no more, then why a curse upon those who seek him harm? Should you not curse those who destroyed him? I curse who I please, in words as I desire. Now go from here. If you do not worship Senmet, you have no place in the temple of the god of Okay. So yeah, she's obviously just fucking evil. Trust her not. Believe not a word she says. This undead creature wants no more than to rule at any cost. Treachery and deceit drip from her smiles. You no fucking kidding. Okay, let's let, let us put her about. I see you over there, you shit. There are, there are nastier snakes than these in here. If I recall correctly, there are dark naga in here. Can I pick the lock? Mother of God, you guys. Oh, shh. Speak of the devil. All right. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, these things can cast light. Yeah, I was going to say they can cast lightning bolts. Dark Nagas are like another monster that don't really see too much of. Nagas kind of as a rule in D&D, &D, you don't really see too, too much of. At least in, in the more like. That's what. Oh, that's. <laughs> Behind this pit lies a grim end, if I recall correctly. I think Senmet's down here. Let's find out. Or is this the snake room? No. There's a Senmet down here. Where you at, fuckboy? Yeah, there he is. See? Very obviously an angry mummy. So we can kill him, but if I recall correctly, he just comes right back. Is there a... no. We cannot permanently kill Senmet. Like, he... 
Really? Really? Oh, it's a trap. Fair play. Yeah, he'll come back if we just lurk around here. It's for fuck's sake, dude. Go to bed. Oh shit. Hello. I have to I have to get used to selecting cat over here on this side now. Uh come on, cold. Probably me oh, I was gonna say probably immune to magic, but I guess not. Yeah, so Senmet's basically just down here to fuck with us for now. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, it eventually comes to to be that we would want to come down here with Glorintha. There's a way to kill Senmet, and it's actually Glorintha's, like, what's keeping her alive as an undead. That makes sense. What's keeping her animate as an undead is her, her quest to kill Senmet. And so we will inevitably come in here and do that, and that will free her from her burden. And what I need to remember to do is that when we do that, we want to go and talk to her, because I believe we can tell her that, you know, we have accomplished her task, and she is kind of, like, free. I do very much appreciate that we can just pop these locks. There's not anything, apparently, in some of these rooms, but... I My hope is that Senmet's pathfinding isn't good enough to actually follow us. Ah, shit. Worth it. Oh my god, there's one of them just like right behind us, just spamming the lightning bolts. Oh no, these are spitting snakes, that's what it is. Okay. Chill out, you shits. Don't you do it. Ooh. Alright, let's uh... Neutralize poison here. As Chunk starts rooting around, he begins the search. He pulls his hand out of his, out of the salve box, and he eyes Rove, and Rove just immediately goes pale. No, keep those hands to yourself. And Chunk, just, oh, is he blind too? That's, yeah, I was gonna say, that's, that's from the spitting snakes, they blind you. I think it's supposed to be permanent. Can we sleep and it goes away? No, okay. Game's taking pity on us. In 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 tabletop, that's that's permanent blindness if if a spitting cobra nails you with its venom. And I love it. Like there's a spitting cobra in fucking Castle Caldwell and there's like no warning. It's well, no, I take that back. There actually is a warning because like you go into the room and there's like a dead goblin in there and it's like all bloated and obviously died from poison. But I mean, player characters are stupid and they're like, well, let's go loot it. And I think you can loot the goblin, and that's okay. But I believe... I believe there are, like, some bags or something in the room that if the party, like, fucks with, then the then the, the snake strikes. Okay, so we're, we're just, like, down here just killing all their pets. There's not even any loot in it. We're just killing their pets because we can. If that's not the most, like... Murder hobo D and D adventure thing in this world. I don't know what is. What's that do? I don't know. Some spears. Ah, uh, let me get detect magic going. There's ooh healing potions. We need those. Just can't get enough. What else we got? Chain helm, non magical. Albert, non magical. Albert, non magical. This is obviously like a guard's quarters or something. And y'all bet your asses that I'm gonna be checking all of these. This is, I think it's F3. There we go. That's so crazy. All right. Uh, so none of these are magical. I didn't pick this one up though. All right. No magical spears, sadly. We have a portal. And then what else do we have? Stairs. Okay, oh, that closed the door behind us, all right. I was gonna say, I wonder what the button did. All right, where's the portal take us? Is it, oh, it just takes us back to the top. Um, I'm okay with that, actually. I would rather explore this place from here than wherever those stairs are, and I think these are riddles. V, 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 reveal the serpent hidden. The Hidden Serpents reveals the awaiting helm. The helm reveals the awaiting serpents. Oh god. 
Mm, no. I'm listening to the talkie thonks. Okay, so there's a helm of true sight in here. And something reveals it. Alright. I'm sure that will probably appear. Oh, hey. A key. You fucking... You damn snakes. Stop it. Wow. Cat coming in. Tired of this game's bullshit. Another short sword. Ooh, where's the seeky little son of a bitch? None of that. Attack a man while he's looting. Okay, so there's a dead thief in here, obviously. Dead mage as well. Invisibility 10 foot radius. Already got it. Ring of wizardry. Why? Yes. Get out of here. Melf's Acid Arrow. I wonder how Acid Arrow... I think... Did Acid Arrow in the older games, was it better? I have a scroll. Ooh, another Magic Warhammer. Um, I can't remember whether or not Acid Arrow was better than Agonazers in Menzo. Although I suppose it doesn't really matter because this game's kind of just doing its own thing anyways. Magical. God damn it. Give me a magical short sword, you fucks. Magical scimitar? No. Magical chainmail. Uh, weighs the same. Nah, we'll keep Ket in the, the desert gear. Magical shield? No. Alright. So yeah, if I recall correctly, we, we do whatever and then that... Where is it? This helm of true sight appears in here. I'm just gonna spin really quick. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna spin and see. See what bullshit is revealed. I just wanna kill everything and then I can memorize spells. There's that handwritten note. I will be going back for it. Don't worry, I'm sure that there are some people that are very worried. Happy Ghost just threw away the handwritten note. He's not gonna do anything with it. No. I'm just prioritizing making sure everything is dead and looting. I'm an adventurer first, you guys. That's the Copper Helm. Oh, hey. It is nice. I will say that they throw, like, a lot of weak things at us, so our shitty little AoE spells are actually, like, worth something here. Yeah, Flaming Sphere just seems kind of bad. I mean, gotta be careful. With ice storms so that I don't accidentally nuke my party with it. If we cast it next to anything that's like right next to us, it'll damage my party members as well. Why? I don't know. Because this game hates you, I guess. But what do I know? Hey, an ointment to replace the one that we used. Okay. Corner acquired. Let's memorize some spells. What did we double? Third level? Yes. Um. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So many flame arrows. But really, nothing else in here is like that amazing to me. All right, there we go. Uh, we do have this. Let's see what this thing ends up being. What is this mace? War, Warhammer. Plus two, actually. I think the other one we had was only plus one. Yeah. All right, weapon upgrade get. There you go, buddy. So now if, if Ket has to take the front line again with his shield, he can do so. All right, now that note. It's right here. I just saw it. There it is. What do we got? By the time you read this, we shall be no more. The serpents about us will clean our bones, and the war screams of our men shall echo into darkness. My name is Haramahab, a princess of the family Menis, and with my last words I curse this place. I pray to the gods, remember my valiant guards. Into this terrible land we were drawn, and from it we could find no escape. Whoever you are, remember the few who died here. All right. Thanks for your your ring of wizardry, I suppose. All right. I mean, 
I guess let's just find a door and start poking around here. This obviously wants us to put something on it. I have no idea what yet. Also. Are these all just going to be... Oh, no, we got some... That's a sound effect. And these things got some hit points on them. Holy shit. Respect. I didn't think Dark Nagas had that many hit dice. I thought they were like maybe... Well, I take that back. I think Dark Nagas are like eight or nine hit dice. So yeah, they're pretty thick. Never mind. Ignore me. But yeah, in tabletop, Dark Nagas are pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. All right, so I do want to mark right here that there are stairs up. We'll poke around the rest of this floor, see if we can't discover anything. I think I remember this dungeon being a pain in the ass. Specifically, the upper levels of it. Oh, hey, a button. Neat. Oh, good. More snakes. I would have never expected that. Oh, good God. Oh my god, look at all these things. Man. AoE magic, you guys. AoE. <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. Oh, hey guys. Um, Probably overkill. That was a lot of snakes. Many a snack. And sadly, these are these are not friendly danger noodles either. All right, well, we're in here. Let's have a nappy. Get everybody topped up. Rebuff ourselves. I wouldn't mind haste. Haste would be great. I guess I really need to like. I don't know why they don't like color these things for when you're waiting for spells to recharge. It just seems like such a step back from from the first two games where it was like just a little menu over your character portrait. It tells you literally everything you need to know, but then they're just like, no, nah, let's not do that anymore. Let's just not. Okay, so the thing that I'm noticing here immediately is like these are stairs up. We had stairs up from down here. So those are going to get us into one of these rooms. Oh, hey, well, that's interesting. I'm, I'm just spinning just enough to area transition. That's hellishly disorient. Oh, no, I'm not. Somehow I managed to toggle us into grid movement. How the hell? What the fuck button? Is it numlock? Does does numlock do it? No. How the fuck did I do that? I didn't hit anything. I'm so confused. Whatever. All right, stinky, come over here. I gotta amble around you and probably eat a lightning bolt with my face. Eh. God damn it. Thankfully, they don't do much damage. It could be worse. All right. So this is closed again. Do that. I see. Yeah, where is where is this going to take me? Right up next to some lips. OK, what you got? Brave sets dungeon, if you will. Below these stairs, the prisoners of the serpent are kept. Pretty sure I killed all of them, but okay. I also killed your... Your... Your mummy daddy. Alright, so that's all that is down here. Okay, so this isn't really... Anything too interesting. This portal out. I am... I'm... I, I noticed that they color the portals in here blue instead of red. I notice it and I appreciate it. I dig the color changes. They could have gone purple. They didn't, but they could have. Oh, man, I remember this. 
There's like secret doors all over the place, or like illusory walls. Yeah. With these things spitting lightning death at us. Mm hmm. Yeah. I remembered this sucking pretty mightily. It feels like Trajan Ket is hitting more than he ever has. I think that was a button. That's not a button. Got any buttons in here? No. What's the point of this then? Buttons. Okay. Really? Just go to that. Go to go. Go. Get out of here. Quit biting my party members, you son of a bitch. I don't remember what this does, but I'm not stepping on it. So is there a tell for this? No, of course not. Yes, I remember. I remember having to just studiously wall hump everything in here. I wonder, can I like, can I do this? Will it let him? Yes, awesome. Okay. Excuse you. Silly game, you're not the boss of me. Your little push movement. Yes, guys, guys, thank you. I appreciate notifications. Uh, why did it? Wow. Well, I guess that's a reload. I'm glad I saved before I came up here. Shit. Full health to dead. This is great. This is great. What you got? Within the coils of the serpent lie many secrets. Secrets hidden behind secrets. Safe within illusions. To gain one secret, one must overcome the trickery of another. Yo, dog. It's not quite a teleporter maze, but it's the next worst thing. Thankfully, the game gives us a mini map, so it's really not that bad. The outer way lies rightward round. Know you right from left? Then go around. Pass. I want to. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, friend. Okay. Yeah. Illusory wall of bullshit? Where is it? Eh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, I just. Okay, just. Or not. Right here. Ah, here we go. No. No. I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. Never mind. Just keeping an eye out. What do we got here? Nature of Ice Storm. This is useless. Not really. It won't scale. I hear the aggro, but I do not see the beasts. Motherfuckers. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. If I recall correctly, these guys are good experience. How are we actually looking? Uh, Rove is slowly crawling toward 12th level, which I think we'll net him six level spells. Uh huh. Hey, look, it's a pedestal of bullshit. Thanks, game. It's like a stone or something. Gosh. I wish you could, like, disable or tone down the yo dog, there's a secret door here notifications, because, like, I need it once. Another periaptive proof against poison. Um, all right, here you go. Uh, Rove. I don't 
don't want it. Game trying to lightning bolt me. Son of a bitch. You! Not what I meant to do, but okay. Where am I? I'm lost. Yep. It's like right, it's right here. Let me, let me, let me hump the walls. I think I'm humping the wrong walls. Maybe not. Okay, but like, really? Uh, detect? Ah! <laughs> Things in life you do not want to see. <laughs> oh no. All right, all right. Let's uh, pop up the the wimp in the back here. Hi guys. Uh, come on, cold. Probably fucked one of you up with that. At least I hope I did. I want a cold. Oh my, there's like, look at this. This is like Doom 3 levels of Monster Closet. Yo, dog, we heard you liked stacks of Dark Nagas, so we put stacks of Dark Nagas. Yeah, that was totally a level, though. Hell yeah. All right, Rove, can you cast Death now? Yes, you can. You can cast it, it ain't gonna do shit to fuck. Damn it. Uh, and he didn't get anything else. Let me memorize burning hands in all of my spell slots. It's all I ask. And I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. So as for usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you all next time. We're in bullshit. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series. See if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, via the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.